So welcome to the Biology of Birds. I'm Dr. Kellum. Uh, hopefully we'll get to know one another um, through online process as well as in person at some, at some point. And uh, I'm at Beaver Run Reservoir and where are the geese? There they are. Bye bye geese. So um, I'm going to try and lecture as much as I can outdoors go on little field trips and show you all different places. Like I said, Beaver Run Reservoir is in uh, Westmoreland County towards the north central part of the county. Um, it's just a nice place to get outside. Uh, there's uh, not really anywhere to walk or anything like that. Um, so, uh, well, anyway, about me. Uh, I've been at St. Vincent for 13 years now. I've taught ornithology for biology majors for uh, about every other year since, uh, since I came. Um, and as you might imagine, ornithology, the study of birds, uh, is an outdoors endeavor. So offering the class online uh, gives us some challenges, but it also gives us some flexibility for you to learn at home uh, and for me to get outside while I teach, so that's a good thing. So I've never done an online course before. Uh, so it's gonna be a learning experience for me and possibly for you if you've never done online as, uh, as well. Um, I really like to be in front of the classroom and get student uh, you know, feedback immediately. Uh, and I, I like to be kind of a, a class clown. And that's hard to do when I don't have an audience right in front of me. So sometimes these videos are probably gonna be more boring than I intend. Um, that's kind of the point of going outside and seeing some, some things and showing it to you. Uh, let's see, behind me, I think I already showed you the, uh, the geese, but there's some... Uh, I don't actually see any birds behind me. I'll try not to get distracted by birds either. Well, the class, as you can tell, uh, will have some video footage of myself just speaking into the camera. Uh, I'm going to also have some PowerPoint presentations where I uh, do a voiceover and, and go through the slides with you. Uh, I'll have some YouTube videos. I'll have some reading assignments that you do on your own. And uh, I'll have some quizzes for you to take uh, just to make sure that you're getting the, the proper material and, and learning what I want you to learn. Um, there'll be some essays and, and papers to write too. Um, for the labs, uh, it's actually quite unfortunate we uh, can't, in spring of 2020, can't do uh, labs face-to-face. -face. Um, we have to do them online. So uh, I'm trying to come up with some things uh, that will be interesting to you. So what we got here is a American Coot, C-O-O-T. It's a funny looking duck, isn't it, huh? It's got hardly a tail. You can identify it by its big white bill. And it's uh, often found in, in wetlands. There's a few others over here. There's another guy. I'm actually really surprised to see this guy on grass that's, you know, short. Usually they're in swamps and wetlands. There's the third one. Oh, got a niche. And I think there's a fourth one over here. Where are you? Oh, there he is. American Coot. Oh boy, what do we got here? We got some killdeer, and we're getting an ejaculation right now. That is a copulation. The male is on top of the female, and he's ejaculating and that was really good timing and uh, let's open up the view here what do they do male just kind of walks away female ruffles her feathers American killdeer you've seen these birds before on uh, soccer fields and um, grassy spots just just like this uh, they lay their eggs on the soil and then they've got this broken wing display that often fools pe people into thinking that their wings are broken. 
um, but it's really just to protect the eggs. They draw the attention from the nest to themselves, and that way they're protecting their eggs and their young.